This week on the Electric Samba Project, we get her ready for some racetrack time. So our battery module work continues, but as you might figure, it's not particularly interesting at this point as it's just a lot of charging and discharging cells. But this week, I did find time to work on other systems as I am preparing to, for the first time, have the Samba on the track to see how it handles turns. This opportunity arose as EV West will be testing some of their recent builds and they have invited the Samba to come along and play at the track they've ran it. The main and most serious issue that needs work on my build is steering. Back when I was doing the restoration part of the project, I completely disassembled every single mechanical part down to its components. Most of the steering system parts were replaced with new components. All the arms, the spindles, bushings, and all that stuff, all but the steering box. Apart from the seal, there wasn't much that I could replace to make it better. And it wasn't that bad to begin with as it didn't have the usual play that plagues type 2 steering boxes. But once everything went back together, the steering system felt too stiff. And the only way to loosen it was to adjust the box with lots of play. And I mean lots of play. To the point where it felt dangerous driving the Samba at highway speeds. So this week, Gabriel found a freshly rebuilt replacement and I lost no time installing it on the Samba. I recruited the help of a fellow builder, Eric Garcia, for the job. Pulling the steering wheel off its shaft was by far the toughest part of the job as we didn't have the proper tools, but a little ingenuity goes a long way. Yeah! I mean, it's not gonna be easy. yeah! <laughs> what did I say? After doing I say? a DIY wheel alignment job by stringing a cable to the side of the car, the new box feels a whole lot better and the old Samba doesn't wander all over the road anymore. We then moved on to the next project, changing the old dim yellow headlamps to some new style H4 light bulbs which are easily replaceable with LED bulbs. Amazingly, these lights are a whole lot brighter than the originals, but they consume around the same 15 amp load. Also on the list, we need to replace the old 15 amp sealed lead acid 12 volt battery that will power the new headlamps and the rest of the 12 volt system. I decided to build a module using 100 18650 cells that did make the 2 amp hour minimum cut for the main pack. I first assembled a 25P4S as I thought the 11.1 volt nominal voltage of a 3P pack would be too low for some of my 12 volt components, particularly my audio amplifier. It doesn't like anything under 11 volts. But after testing, I found that the power supplies I'm using uh, for a DC to DC did not really handle voltages of 15 volts or above. So I decided to rearrange the cells in a 33 parallel 3 series configuration instead. The module measured in at around 44 amp hours, so it would take a long drive to get the battery voltage down below 11 volts, so it's okay. Keeping that battery charged is the job of a surplus 12 volt 3 amp switch and power supply. It maintains the voltage exactly at 12.3 volts or 4.1 volts per cell. The Curtis controller plus the water pump and display uses about 2.3 amps so my power supply could easily run that without even using any battery power. Up front the instrumentation panel has some very annoying things that I've wanted to fix for a while now. First the 7 inch Android tablet I'm using freezes every couple of weeks or so 
So now that having access to the on off button from the front, I have to unscrew the whole panel to restart the tablet. I will have to take the tablet apart and tap into the power button so I can install the one on the front panel. While I'm in there, I also decided to place a 12 volt system display so I can keep an eye on the 12 volt system as well. All in all, I think the Samba is as ready as she is going to be for some racetrack action. So stay tuned for next week's show. It should be pretty fun. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, make sure to catch next week's episode for more electric Samba adventures. Until next week, bye. Lost our wheel right here. Folks, if you enjoy my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and join the conversation down below by leaving a comment. Uh, if you don't, then also leave me a comment so I can make these videos better. Thank you.